the Liberal government is looking to develop a more comprehensive picture of how many veterans take their own lives after leaving the military. Getting better data on the scope of the tragedies is one of the pillars of a suicide prevention strategy released on Thursday by National Defence and Veteran Affairs Canada. Suicides among soldiers and veterans has been a growing concern since the end of the war in Afghanistan. Since 2010, 130 soldiers have taken their lives, according to National Defence Statistics. We know each other we know each other well. We feel every hurt we feel every suicide, just like any other family, said Jen. Jonathan Vance, the chief of the defense staff. Over the past decade or more, the military has been closely tracking and analyzing suicides within the ranks, but Veterans Affairs has struggled to keep track of deaths once a soldier, sailor or aircrew member takes off their uniform. We have to do better, said newly appointed Veterans Minister Seamus Oregon. We recognize the dire need for a suicide prevention strategy. It is difficult for me. It is difficult for our department. It is difficult for all Canadians to hear that our military men and women and our veterans are taking their own lives. Starting in December, Veterans Affairs, in conjunction with Statistics Canada, will begin reporting on the rates of suicides among veterans, something the U.S has been attempting to do with various studies for years. Having the data may help us pinpoint exactly where we have to put certain efforts, said a senior veterans official, speaking on background prior to the release of the strategy. It will help us to better understand what is going on, because today we don't know. Federal governments both liberal and conservative have poured millions of dollars per year into operational stress injury clinics across the country and counseling support. Understanding how many suicides are taking place and where will make a big difference. We receive resources to put somewhere and we put it based on geographic location and a critical mass of veterans, the official said. There's an analysis done from a megadata point of view of where we should put our resources, but I really don't know if I'm putting them in the right places sometimes. The previous conservative government was asked repeatedly why veteran suicides were not being tracked and the answer was that it was too difficult to collect the information, because ex-soldiers and their medical files are scattered across the country and their care was under provincial jurisdiction. A former soldier who has long argued for a closer examination of the effectiveness of veterans' programs was frustrated. The fact that I'm still burying my friends long after the war shows that it's not working, said retired Corporal Glenn Kirkland, of Brandon, Manitoba who was wounded in Afghanistan. They need to not just do some more stats, but maybe actually reach out and see what the soldiers need. A similar message was delivered at the unveiling of the strategy by retired General Walt Natinchik, the former chief of the defense staff who is now deputy minister at Veterans Affairs. He made a personal appeal to all soldiers and veterans to reach out and keep an eye on their former battle buddies who might be suffering mental health issues.